So guys, you can see this is our two while loop running in decrement. Now count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. It blinked 5 times. Now let's get to the code. Now guys, this over here is the syntax of the do while loop. You write do while here and then this is our condition and this is the initial state of the count. This is our counter flag that we have taken ourselves. Now counter starts from 5 and then it decrements by 1. And then this is the things which will repeat. Now we are just blinking an LED. It blinks once in one, one turn. So and the, here is our condition in the while. So whenever the counter becomes greater than 0, like it reaches 0, it will go down from 5 until it becomes 0. As soon as it becomes 0, the do by loop terminates and you, your code moves on. Again, we make the counter to the initial state that is 5 and then again we give 3 second delay and then it goes on. So let me again show you what is happening here. See, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. See, now it's 3 second delay and so on. Hello guys, welcome to learning microcontrollers. In this video, I will show you how you can use a do while loop in micro C. So for that purpose, I will be using PIC16 F877A for hardware demonstration. So we will be simply using an LED and we will blink that LED and for how many times the LED should blink that we will decide to using this do while loop. So let's get started. So guys, first let's set up the hardware, then we will move on to the programming. First of all, this is our PIC16 F877A microcontroller having 40 pins, it's a DIP version. And this is a simple 5mm crystal type LED having two pins, one longer, one shorter. Now guys, this is a safety resistor, you will need it to connect it to a PIC. It is basically a LED safety resistor, it will limit the current. And uh, its value can vary from 100 ohm to up to 500 ohm. You can go even higher, higher the value, the dimmer will be the LED. So I'm going to use a 220 ohm resistor. It's an ideal value. So let's connect the LED to the pick now. The longer pin of the LED is always the power. The shorter pin is always the ground. For the longer pin, that is the power pin, connect it to one end of the 220 ohm resistor like this. Now from the other end of this 220 ohm resistor, you can take out your output. You can connect it to any available digital input output pin of the pick. I'm going to use a pin number D2 like this. Now guys, for the ground, connect it to the ground of the pick like this. In this way, our LED is connected. So let me introduce you to the hardware before we move on to the programming. So guys, this over here is the LED and that behind this wire is our PIC16 f 7 a microcontroller. Simple as that, only this LED will be used. Now let's get to the micro C for PIC so we can get started with the programming. So let me zoom in so you guys can see better. So as you can see that it's version 7.2.0, you can use a higher version as well. Higher version of micro C is always better. So Let's get to the programming. Click on file, new, new project. This window pops up, new project wizard. Click on next, write the name of the project. I write do while loop tutorial. That's all. This is the path where the file will be created. And this is the microcontroller I'm going to use. And the device clock is 20 megahertz. That is the crystal connected to pin number 13 and 14 of the pick. So that is the value you will write over here. I have a 20 megahertz crystal if over there. So that's why I wrote 20 here. Click on next and finish. Now, first of all, guys, do, before doing anything else, first of all, save your work. Press Ctrl S to save your work. Now, guys, the next thing is declare the LED pin. Trace D dot F2 equals to 0. The LED pin direction is now output. Trace is a direction register. 0 means it's output. 1 means it's an input. LED is always output. Now, for the initial state, initially the LED must be off equals to 0. That is port D dot F2 equals to 0. Now, give some initialization delay. This delay is not necessary, but I always suggest you give it in a one-time loop. Like this. Now, guys, go to the forever loop. Write down while 1. Forever loop starts here and ends here like this. Now, guys, we write our do while loop here. Write down do. This is a syntax of the do while loop. Do. Then you will end the bracket here and write while and then whatever the condition is and then the semicolons like this. Now this is the syntax of the do while loop. Whatever inside it will execute for once. In case of do while loop, one time execution is must. And after one time execution, then it will check the condition. Once the condition is reached, it will break out of the loop. Now what we do is that we take a variable like I call it int count. So what we do is that we write here count equals to count plus 1. 
just like in for loop you write count plus plus this is the same thing after every repetition it will increase the counter by one and here we take the count condition is whenever the counter is less than 10 it will terminate the loop it will only allow the loop to repeat as for as long as the counter is less than 10 one time is must so 10 means it's like uh, so let's do the do it and see what happens so this is our pin let's blink it it will turn on and then it will turn off like this and then i give some delay in between so tolling speed can be seen so i give it like 400 millisecond delay that's enough and then for off time it's same like 400 and then after it has executed the loop uh, it will pause the code for like you can say three seconds so we can uh, uh, have a difference so let's execute this do while loop here we are having a condition that whenever it is less than 10 the count value is less than 10 it will keep on repeating and after that the count must become zero again if the count value is not zero the next run it will not be able to calculate like this and initially the count must be zero so we make the count zero over here count equals to zero like this so now it's fine let's build this and go to the picket c programmer tool this is our picket c programmer tool go to the file import the hex file click on write okay the new file is being written let's wait let me zoom out and let's get to the hardware so this is our hardware the code is being written so let's count for how many time it repeats and then it pauses so i will power up the circuit using the picket three okay one two three four five six seven eight nine ten see it's ten time now again one two three four five six seven eight nine ten see it's accurate as per our expectation now we change some values i make it five now it should go just five times i build this code now the counter should execute only for five times right okay let's see where it the code here it is see that one two three four okay again one two three four five see it's five time now one two three four and five so that's working perfectly fine so that's how the do while works you can okay guys now for the decrement we should uh, like this is the counter starting from zero we make it five like we will start from five and now it should be a decrement like it should go down like five or three to one and then this is our whatever is, is here will be repeated for that much time and instead of going less than five it will go greater than zero like it will start from five and and it will decrement by one with each each re repetition and then as soon as it is greater than zero it should terminate and then again it will become five that's all for the decrement now let's test this decrement counter no errors click on pick it three programmer tool click on write okay the new code is being written let's get to the hardware and see what happens so this is our hardware over here let it write now we are running the counter in decrement do, using a do while loop one two three four five that's all like it ran for five times so guys it's simple as that if you still have any questions you can ask me in the comment i will give you this code in the google drive link in a google drive link in the description of the video you can open the link and download the file and then you can play with the code so thank you very much for your time guys we'll see you in the next video goodbye until then